Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we've got some more LEGO The Incredibles for you. This happens to be level four. Elastigirl on the case. Free play. That's right, we're going to get all ten of those mini kits, and with our stud multiplier and our attract stud on, we actually have no problem getting that true super. Now, keep in mind, we do have quick links down below in the video description to help you get to them collectibles a little bit quicker. And, uh, you know, there is a moment or two where I would recommend using them as there is kind of a lengthy boss battle as well as this uh, section after the maze. Once we get all of the mini kits in the area, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of extra work. But uh, here we go. You can see here we have opened up our map and toggled over to our level select, gone all the way into Chapter 4. Elastigirl on the case. And of course, you can pick whoever you like as we will have access to all the characters we have unlocked thus far. Now, we have removed all of the cutscenes and have sped this video up ever so slightly, making this tiptoe scene a little less painful as it was kind of long and lengthy before we actually gained control. But uh, once we get all the way to the end, it does pan around the room and give us a good idea of what the first area looks like. And then we, uh, we're actually going to go all the way to the back of this. We're going to go right to the beginning of where we started and we're going to do a whole bunch of butt slides. That's right. Uh, there are 10 sets of eyes that we need to, I guess, get our smash on for reasons of unknown. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. And then we actually open up a little pogo ball. That's an eyeball pogo. We'll, we'll get to that in a second, too. But all right. So we get the nice little cinematic pan. All righty. All the way back to the stair. I guess it's not quite stairs. It's just the long hallway. Now, I actually get two in that first stomp. Then I get a couple, I got three in that third stomp. You can see you just got to go through. And uh, once you get all 10, it'll it'll notify you and it'll go ahead and pop this old eyeball bouncer ball thingy out. And we'll go ahead and make our way in and around the corner here. And I opted not to ride the eyeball at first because my instructions say that the mini kit's just going to be waiting for me on the left side of the room. But that turns out not to be the case, as it is not over here anywhere. I ran up and back, and nope, not there. So I went ahead and hopped onto this bad boy. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, look at that. All of a sudden, the mini kit is there. So I will say that it does say feel free to hop onto the eyeball in our trophy achievement guide put together by Tyler P. So he does at least allude to that if you don't have any luck on the left-hand side. Now, we're going to go ahead and make our way up top and grab the Incredible Brick that is actually part of the story. And rather than following along completely with how they want you to, we're just going to fly up here. We're supposed to, you know, shimmy up old Elastigirl there, which is just kind of awkward in its own... <laughs> Anyway, moving along. We've got uh, Wall-E seems to be our favorite melter guy. So we got his heat ray or his uh, super gaze going on here. And it's going to melt that goo and spin this crazy. Oh, it's going to release it. Give me that Incredibrick. But before actually going out there to snag that, we're going to want to pay attention to a couple of things in here. One being this little clue spot. I totally got a clue. We're going to need somebody like Russell to go ahead and get your tracker on. If you haven't unlocked Russell, he is uh, one of the Pixar build family characters that you unlock. Uh, and you can also create a tracker ability character in Edna Mood's uh, custom character creator. So you might check that out if you don't have Russell yet. But uh, Russell's pretty easy. We do got a whole bunch of free roam. We, we just assume you've been following along with our videos if you're using these. Now, they are backwards. We did complete free roam before free play, which is way crazy. But all right, next up, we got another mini kit in this little game. As you can see, there was five lives for the old gold spaceships. And it's kind of a weird, funny angle, I will say. I, I miss. I actually miss one of them. He, he escapes. So, uh, but you got to take them all down. Once there are no gold ships left to spawn, it will kind of uh, indicate that you have won. Even though it's kind of backwards of a traditional arcade game, usually you get three lives, first of all, the rule of three, right? And, uh, you know, once they go away, uh, you lose. You don't win. So it's kind of weird. They gave us five to take down, and once they're all, but anyway, once you get all five, though, it is kind of a lengthy process. There's four. You do get rewarded with a mini kit. Uh, I don't remember what the full mini kit build is at the end. As you guys know, we get a vehicle unlocked with every full set of 10 mini kits per level that we get. So it'll be fun to see what that is, as I have forgotten, even though I just edited it. I don't really pay attention to those until I make the thumbnails. And uh, we'll see if I even add that as the thumbnail. But we got all five of those gold spaceships taken care of. We got some uh, old school retro fireworks going on for us. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
And uh, we'll take our mini kit. Thank you very much. And make our way on out of here. Now, of course, don't forget to go ahead and grab that incredible brick right here as we're going to need that. But next up, we've got another mini kit. These are kind of back to back to back. We're going to need somebody with the silver brick breaking ability to go ahead and take out these five. Now, they're noted as Wally head statue or Wally face statues. They kind of look like that to me. I'm not sure that's what they are. Maybe, maybe you know something I don't. Drop me a comment down below. As you can see, there was two in the far left side of the main room and then one on the back wall there that's going to go ahead and be number three. Now, number four is going to be off to our right right now. That's right. That wasn't, a, that wasn't a double usage on accident. That was on Polypus. There is one over there. And then we're going to go ahead and make our way inside to the maze where our final one will be, which is amazing. <laughs> All right, so I love the old explodey fish. We need a couple more. Actually, one more incredible brick is all we need. But uh, there it is right there. It's actually at the end of the maze. And in order to get into that maze, we need to melt down that gold. So we need to switch to somebody that has the ability to do that. And look at that. I got Wally out still. So we'll go ahead and give it a nice little gaze here. And oh, sorry about that, buddy. There's a funny angle. Once you melt the bottom layer, it actually knocks the bookcase over. A whole bunch of bananas, crabs, and all sorts of things come out. Not sure what that's uh, really trying to say there, but uh, I guess this library is in a little need of some cleansing, as it, it would appear anyways. We got a handful of switches uh, to get through all the way here, and there is a mini kit. We're going to run by it here in a second and come back and get it. And the only reason I did that is because I want to make sure that I get this uh the final silver statue taken care of before we grab something else got to get them in order you know me all right so i got this door open what last but not least we need to use elastigirl over here to go ahead and stretch through the little vent and flip the switch which is going to give that little green gate the uh, indication to go ahead and open the door all right, and around we go, and back around here in the corner, we can see, oh, there's that silver statue. Go ahead and pull out your favorite silver brick breaker and take out the final one to collect mini kit number four. Ready, Kablooey, thank you very much. And we'll go ahead and double back right quick. Wally seems to be a little bit faster with them treads. Push that along the old checkerboard path and grab number five. Now, uh, yep, I was going to say, I do believe this is where Thubby comes in and reminds you that we do have quick links down below. If you're looking for that next mini kit, it's going to be mini kit number six. And we wouldn't be mad at you if you used it because there is a little bit of work ahead of us before we can move on to that next kit. So go ahead and push the other box down the checkerboard pathway there, which will give us access out of there. And then we can make our way over to the family build as we officially have all of the incredible bricks needed. And pew, 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 completer the meter. All right, we got that. And what do we got? Oh, it's another push. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. This is awesome. I forgot about this. So we've got this crazy, like, caged off area that we're trying to get into, right? Well, we got to use this very elaborate robotic arm to go ahead and get in because apparently we're not a, a, able to pick a lock or find a key nearby. So we'll let the uh, the old big arm do it for us. Let's see here. What does he got? Is he going to pout open? Nope. Oh, psych. He's not. He's going to go ahead and, as you might have guessed, he's going to look under the mat because that's where everybody keeps their key. At least they used to back in the day when I was younger. Go ahead and unlock that door for us. And there's a nice stud trail leading all the way up to this, uh, ooh, I guess it's like a desk. I'm not sure. There's some sort of evidence or something going on there, which Elastigirl makes note of. And as soon as that happens, we get attacked. Watch this, though. I throw, boom. <laughs> that was pretty efficient as I was collecting studs. And it got seen. That was interesting. As soon as we grab that mask, Screen Slaver comes in for the attack. And there's kind of an annoying boss battle that takes a little bit longer than I would like it to. Now, it could have been because I had terrible fighters out. Maybe these guys are not the best fighters. But you'd think the old Heat Ray would do some damage. And it did right there. It took like maybe like, a, I don't know, an eighth or so of his damage off. But I couldn't seem to get it to do any more damage, at least for quite some time. So I went back to the old Bomb Voyage and tried to throw a bunch of bombs at him, but I was having a hard time lobbing those things in his general direction. So back to the spamage. Cha, 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 cha. Oh, yeah, by the way, be off win. Check us out on Facebook if you haven't already. We generally have a weekly giveaway that's posted on Fridays. And uh, 
Uh, we've been picking the winner on Mondays. This is it just giving you a little extra time and it makes more sense because we're always in the office Monday. We're Sunday. We're not always in the office. So, uh, yeah, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday gives you a couple of opportunities to go ahead and like the posts on Facebook. And uh, you got to make sure you like our actual Facebook page, too. Those are the only two requirements. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to tell anybody about us. You don't have to do anything else other than like it. And, oh, look at that, a kapooey. Boot to the head, took that guy down, and he's not out, though. He's running down the hallway. There is a trophy achievement for completing this section in under three minutes, and as you can see, flying over everybody is going to be the best bet to do that. So uh, I believe that's the best. I, I haven't done it yet. I haven't actually unlocked that bad boy. So once I do, I'll put a video up for you guys, just in case you're struggling with it. All right, we got down the first hallway, though, and we are making our way up the stairs. There are a couple of mini kits to pay attention to right here, one of them having to do with that power box that just fell, and another one that's actually just kind of floating around up at the top of the stairs. And I got a little little uh, <laughs> fooled you moment that happens here in a second. Uh, the notes on my trophy achievement guide say, go up the stairs and you'll find a fire. Well, right off the bat, I noticed this fire looked a little bit different than most fires. And you can kind of tell the fires that are, you know, uh, extinguishable versus the ones that are just part of like the actual like uh, I guess the the level itself. See see the difference in the fire. See how it's like bright orange as opposed to like a reddish kind of a blood orange. So uh, yeah, go all the way to the top of the stairs if you're having trouble with putting the fire out. And look at that number six happens to be right there. Now I did mention that this green power box had something to do with it too. You might notice there is a black. Oh, excuse me, a cracked wall behind there. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and switch to a large and buff character like Mr. Incredible. And he can go ahead and get his ka on and take down that cracked wall. <laughs> and look at that mini kit in the back. We'll go ahead and switch to a flying character, but not before sliding through here. And uh, you notice Mr. Incredible isn't so buff there. He was kind of like, I think it's indistinguishable. Who, who, I don't know if I've ever even paid attention to that version of him. But anyhow, uh, mini kit number eight is all the way up top. Don't be fooled by me going through this little hole here. As it turns out, uh, I needed to do this to get up top before I had a flying character. But I got a flying character now, so it's irrelevant to me. What we need to do is go all the way up top and push that power box down. But first, we got to do some stuff on the ground. Uh, we got to just take out a couple of things. I think there is a grapple plug over here, too, if memory serves me correctly. Oh, yep, we got to, there she lives. We got to rip down the staircase and separate that so that we can then push down that power box. That'll give us some bricks to uh, do some weird stuff with Elastigirl. She's always changing into weird things and stretching out crazily. But there you go. You can see she's uh, trying to give our other character safe passage up top, but we are already up here. We already already, buddy. All right, we drop that down below. A couple of bricks go kaplooey, and guess what? We got some more stuff to build, like I already saw it. Uh, let's see here. We'll build this guy up. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Anybody else struggle with that uh, proper placement of where to stand when you hit the, the build button circle for us? All right, we got it in here, and let's see here. Oh, that's right. It's, uh, it's a fuse. We got to light it up. Luckily for us, Jack-Jack does have the ability to go ahead and heat things up, so... Look at that. We'll light that fuse. And I think this just takes us all the way to the top, really. We could have just flown up there, saved ourselves a wee bit of time. Oh, that's right. She does blast the wall there. So I don't think you can actually pass this area without doing that particular part. So, uh, and, and, and I'm pretty sure that's related to the trophy achievement. I'll have to get on that trophy, too. Because there are some that, that actually have uh, some needed info, while others you don't need any info. Speaking of needed info, we got a mini kit coming up on the left side once we get to this second hallway here. You can see it kind of glowing. You can see the little tip poking out there. That's right, just the tip. And we'll grab that up. Thank you very much. Nine, that means there's only one left. And it just so happens to be at the very end of the elevator ride that we take. So uh, we get all the way to the back here. He uses his crazy... I don't know. He tries to, I guess, mesmerize us with those weird green goggles. It doesn't work, and he goes down. There goes the mini kit. Did you see him? Yeah. Uh, it's a little preview of what's to come. We go ahead and drop down the elevator shaft, and we need somebody with that grapple ability. So we switch to Elastigirl and get our grapple on. Go ahead and fill that meter. That's right. Completed a meter. And, oh, we got some goo. This time we got to melt it up. Now, I tried to switch to Jack-Jack. As you can see here, he's, like, stuck. I don't know if this is happening to everybody if this is part of something that i'm forgetting about but I, I could not get out so i'm like all right i'll just i'll just switch characters and then and then i'll switch back to somebody or something 
So I try to switch to another character, and nope, stuck as well. So I get real sick of that real quick, and I switch back over, and let's see here. We'll go with Wally, as we know Wally's got the heat ray. Melt that gold, and I'm pretty sure, yep, we go down one more floor. And the game wants us to go up and chase Screen Slaver, but before doing that, make sure you use Elastigirl on the spot on the far right, so you can go ahead and go, go, Gadget Legs, and into the vent we go. Well, that was a weird one. And grab that mini kit. Ba, 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 ba. All right, 10 of 10. We got that extra gold brick. Now, keep in mind, we already had the true super, I do believe, from the story. Uh, again, and if you're trying to get that trophy achievement, I, I think flying is going to be your best bet through this because you don't have any of these other obstacles on the ground and such. Get all the way to the end, and guess what? We have cut out that cutscene and gone straight to the final totals. The final totals. So like we said, we got the uh, gold brick for completing the story. We got the true super. Uh, we only needed 80k for that. We blew right on by that one. And what did we get for our vehicle? This is one of the last few things that we need to get that 100% is them vehicles. We got four of the 12, and oh, it looks like it unlocked another silver mystery bag. Normally, it gives us the old red ones. That was interesting. Uh, all righty, that's going to wrap it up for LEGO The Incredibles, the last girl on the case free play. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video and found it a wee bit helpful. If you did, smash that like button. We don't often ask you to do that, but if you found it helpful, please do. And uh, as for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time.